in business is connecting them with their heart and what what they're feeling because what what we think is interesting what we feel that's really important if uh, it's the one thing i said if um if i'm going to invest in one thing it's going to be my own happiness and that's where my pursuit of happiness came from and that's why i resonated so much with breathwork because it works directly on the emotion helps with the mindset as well and the physical but that's just the, the payoff. Um, but it specifically works with the emotion where you can deal with childhood traumas, you can deal with current traumas, but it just helps you be in that flow state. And when you're in that flow state, everything's easy and you don't get stuck in the mind. You, you just find it real easy to be in the flow of life. Everything just works. Nothing's difficult. You never get to the end of a day and think, oh, I'm tired. You think, oh, sweet, what could I do now? Um, and it's just that when, when you're really, really in it and you, and you have that happiness and passion within yourself, that will naturally flow within your business. And that's what you want your customers to feel. You want them to feel where, you're, where your fire is, where you're alive. And if, the, if you're alive within your business, well, then you, you're made because... I truly believe that success and money is just a byproduct of happiness and passion. Um, it's I, I've seen it in my own life. I, I worked twice as hard in building. I tried twice as hard and I made half the money. And I've tried a completely different approach within my business now. And not only have I found massive success compared to my previous successes, but to people that are doing exactly the same thing as I'm doing. And also to, to businesses that their scale of money is, is, is way beyond mine, but I'm able to help them increase their profit just on getting them in connection with the heart, heart space and following the feeling. Um, if we follow that, if the happiness becomes important to us, if I don't know if many, if any of you work within a company or have people working for you, but as you know, teamwork makes the dream work. And if you can get a team of people that are happy, their production goes up threefold. And it, it's not about paying them more or anything like that, but it's engaging them with their passion. Um, so it's one thing that I found within my business that's helped me excel a lot quicker and a lot, a lot easier than most people, because I don't, I don't believe that we have to work hard for money. <clears throat> who told, who, who thinks we should work hard for money? I mean, my dad told me that money didn't grow on trees and he had to work hard for it, but it's not true for me. And if, if you think it's hard to make money and you have to work hard for it and you have to get good grades and all of that sort of stuff, well, the, the biggest thing to blow that out the water is you look at Instagram. There's people that have spent the last five years on Instagram doing their makeup twice a day. They make millions, absolutely millions, which shows you that's not difficult. I could go on Insta and do my makeup twice a day. I might not be as pretty as she is and have as many followers, but let's face it. That's someone who's gone, do you know, I, I like doing makeup and well, maybe other people would like to see me do that too. Five years later, she's making 5 million pounds a year and she's got millions of followers. If you ask her, was it hard? She'd probably say no. And yet everybody who's not making money tells us, tells themselves that it's difficult because they haven't got it. And it's, it's one of the biggest barriers that stops us. But again, it's a barrier in the mind. It's a thought. It's not a feeling. If we tune into the feeling, it, we all know that we're, we're already perfect in here. We all know that we, we can allow abundance into our lives. We all know it's our birthright. It's just this that has the issue with it. So that's why I found that I've really gone high in my business really, really quickly because I always just follow my heart. I'm going with that innate intelligence, with that authentic part of self. Um, and I've found that's what people really resonate with. Um, it's like, don't try and be anybody else. It's like, you're the only, you're the only version of yourself on this earth. So it's like, 
let us hear your voice. Let us see how you fly. Let us see how you run. It's like no one else can do it the same. And that's your unique genius. So therefore, you already have your own unique niche market. You don't have to look for it. You are it. Oh, sorry, James, how are we for time? You're on mute, by the way. I do apologise. Keep putting oneself on mute. Well, look, <laughs> I think it would be like, re I think that's like amazing what you've said, uh, Matthew. I mean, really, really deep and very interesting. Um, now, obviously, everyone is in practice. Everybody's running their own practice. And, a lot, and most people will probably be, you know, moving in this sort of direction of what we're talking about. But some people may be closer to it than others. But let's just have a, like an open conversation about this, what, what Matthew's been talking about. Um, yeah, so has anyone, any, anyone got any questions or has that brought anything up for anybody that maybe they'd like to ask a question or clarity? Well, just to confirm, Matthew, sorry. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay, oh. go ahead. No, what, Matthew, what you've, this was so interesting and I know that, to, I'm sure we all know that to be true, that it's only when we work from our hearts and become authentic that we attract the same type of, clients um within our business so i found what you, everything you said is so interesting and again reminding me knocking me to do uh, more more things that you you brought up because we do tend to let things well i do let things slide so yeah wonderful wonderful thank you thank you I was, I was going to say matthew uh you know the two words love and passion are the absolute drivers, there's no question. And that's certainly where I come from with every aspect of my work. And uh, sometimes you think, well, where's the money and the income aspect? But you know, it doesn't matter because the driving force of passion and love for something, and with the project I'm working on now, I'm spending hundreds of hours and I'm employing on a sort of, uh, um, commission basis, three people working on the project with me. And there is vast, as you can imagine, amounts of money going out, you know, every month. But it's like the project has got its own energy, its own beauty, its own, and its own passion. Um, and there is a purpose for creating the project. And I can go into that, but it's a, a long story. But um, it, it's it's a purpose that will uh, benefit humanity uh, and I've been told that you know from many sources and so for me it's like it doesn't matter what the cost is um, but the, the money was rapidly running down you know I mean I've got a lot of income coming in from cons consultations and teaching uh, and then somebody I was working with uh, a client and helping her and uh, she um, she loved the passion and my love for the project she says how, how much do you do you need to sort of finish and make the whole movie and i said probably 50 60 thousand guess what happened within a week of saying that that was in my, that was in my bank account wow that's amazing let's have a, a brilliant Christmas. i mean success or the universe <laughs> coming together yeah yep. i don't know but yep. i'm i'm grateful and you know i'm on to the next level of production <laughs> Well done. So, so what do other people think then? What do other people think about what's just been said? I mean, some people might say, oh, it's oversimplified. Uh, it's not really like that. Um, um, I, I thought it was really interesting. I think something that really resonated when you said about usually it's always finance driven. I think that's true. I think that's probably true for, for me me historically definitely always sort of money led rather than yourself led but if you have any tips on connecting to to yourself you know connecting into that heart obviously meditation is a way of doing it but any other things that you found useful um yeah with um with heart connection it's 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 almost the best way to explain it is like meditation so um the way to do it is to literally put your hand on your heart and then just just take a breath and just 
sink down into there. And then what you want to do is just take your attention and look down and right. And that will naturally energetically take you down into your heart. And then ask your, all you have to do is then just ask yourself a question and you'll get an answer from here. It won't come from here. So if I was to ask, ask you now, um, are you, are you on your uh, authentic soul mission right here, right now? Yes or no? Are you asking me to answer that, sorry? Yeah, and, and you'll, you'll probably get two answers. Your head will want to answer, but it's the first, sorry, it's the first one that comes in. So uh, if I was to say, are you, are you following your soul's mission right here, right now? I would say probably, well, yeah, no, the answer is no. It's, that's why I asked the question, I think, to connect yeah. in more to that. So the probably is your mind trying to answer the question, but it doesn't know, which is why you got the probably. The true answer is your heart where it just said no. And it doesn't, it doesn't matter, we can get you on that, it's no problem. Um, but it's very much just doing that. And just, um, if you sit down with a piece of paper and say, um, how, how, does, how does Matthew feel about himself? And use the word feel and ask what the feeling is and then ask what you think about that because then you'll be able to differentiate from oh hang on that that came from up here and oh no i felt that one down there and it's it's like meditation it's like if you, if you go to the gym and you've never used your right arm don't expect to be able to do a bicep curl it's not going to work whereas if you go there go to the gym each day and each time you do one bicep curl all of a sudden by the end of the month you can do 10. So it's very much like meditation. It's just getting used to using that diff that muscle that you've never used before. Um, I do do clarity calls on on heart connection and specific sort of business ideas and that sort of thing. But that would be my greatest advice to what what can you do in the here and now for yourself without anybody else and just get to it's get just getting to know that other part of yourself. Good. Thank and you. So Matthew, just winding up now, um, are there, what, what sort of practical things can people do just to sort of get themselves more heart-centered with what they're doing and just do a little bit, do a check on themselves perhaps as to where things are going and whether they're on the right track in terms of the heart? Okay, um, so one, one good thing I, I usually do with most classes is when we, when we first start a class, we do a little check-in. Um, which is just to unload your emotions in the most easy, non-get-involved way. And it's, it's just by saying we, what we do is we use mad, sad, glad or scared. And it can just allow you to, whenever you start a piece of work or where, before you start something, just go, just check in and go, how, how do I feel at the moment? And you could be sad because the news agent didn't have your newspaper this morning and excited because you've got a zoom call with your best mate later it could be i was cut up in traffic on the way here and i'm pissed off and scared about that but it just allows you to just lay everything on the table and go this morning i'm mad and sad now i don't need to know why it's just letting it go and then just literally just tuning into your heart and asking how do you feel and it really is that simple but it's it's repetition it's doing it again and again so you, you know you're getting the answers um but the check-ins are really good way to just own how you feel so when you you can just get into your heart and just ask all the questions that you you would like an answer to because it's like you already know the aunt the best course of action for yourself because you're you you just don't know you know, and that's what I help people do. It's connecting you with the 90% of yourself so that you can go, well, it's this and it's that and it's that. And I go, yes, that's great, off you go. It's like you you already know all the information. Um, it's just, you don't know where to go for it. And it and it's it's right there. Um, so it's just just keep that, just keep practicing um is is my best advice on that <laughs> very good matthew as as always fascinating fascinating so deep 
so refreshing what yeah. you're sharing. I mean, really and honest. You have a very good, amazing way of expressing yourself. Uh, mm. and, um, really can, can I just say something, James? Yeah. It's so interesting and I'm so glad that Matthew is talking about the subject that I am going to elaborate next week about. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. Right. Well, look, let's, we're going to take a soft close now, everyone, because it's mm -hmm. just been the most amazing up until this point. And so I think we've all discussed a lot. We've had some really interesting things coming said. And again, thank you, Matthew, enormously for your presentation. Really incredible. Thanks, Matthew. Well done. Yeah, well done. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take a thank you. Now. So uh, don't feel like you have to go. But if you do feel like you have to go, then, of course, that's absolutely fine. Um, and um, we are just going to sort of keep going as such. Um, but it's just open to whatever people want to say, really. But if you feel like you have to go, that's absolutely fine. And thank you very much. Yeah, I think what, one thing I would just just share is that um, I never do any preparation. I I put my hand on my heart and I go for it. So the presentation you saw this evening was not no prepared, no notes, nothing. I just talk from the heart, and I hope that what comes out is inspiring. So when James says something like that, it it makes me believe that I'm on my path and I can just surrender and what comes out is what's meant to be said. So it's just Great. having a trust in the universe. Very helpful to, uh, to, to hear, uh, Matthew. Um, I know a few of us are doing uh, Fiona's uh, Root Chakra course this week and it links in beautifully uh, in terms of having a method. I like your method that was my takeaway from from your uh, your talk it's just something very simple hand on heart down look down to the uh, down and right i assume that's that's nlp sort of integrate uh, kind of understanding to access your emotions so wonderful um really helpful i like easy techniques like that um because it just somehow it, you can hold on to it do you know what i mean otherwise sometimes we get bombarded with a lot of techniques this that and the other your head holds them and then you kind of do nothing with them but that just felt like yeah i can do that really nice and easy yeah it's like life is so simple it's like to live a happy abundant life it's easy it's too easy that's mm -hmm. why your mind doesn't believe in it and it has to make it complicated it has to make a million and one things that we have to do to make it like that mm -hmm. because it can't accept that it's that easy but it is because it's genius it's <laughs> <laughs> it, is that, it really is um, it, our mind goes no that's too easy that can't be right and off we go down the track of it's got to be hard and difficult whereas we could have mm. just followed the easy track so true I, I love Any Matthew questions? anyone anyone else want to share yeah j j well I, I'm outdoors but I, I have been listening um, yeah no I really liked Matthew when you said you know it's our birthright and that's that's what it, it kind of kind of makes me sad that so many people aren't living in this abundant way, and yet you know it's it's almost like you know we need to have all this rebirth right now, and yeah, giving giving people access to this, which is just the truth. Um, but yet you know we're always looking, people are looking for you know the money, and um, it's all you've got to be unlearned and put on its head you know um uh and yeah you can only tell stories and give people experience and and case studies and things and then you know breath work and or any techniques like this are just so critical right now um this work is so important um and yeah you know i just i, I really loved everything you said um yeah we are abundant so that's such a good one as well so yeah, just well, really well put, but also really, really well. Um, important work at this time. That's what I wanted to say. Thank you very much. Yeah, I didn't get to share my celebration, but my celebration for this week is I've got a really well-known psychologist coming in on Saturday to A, try a session, but B, hopefully start referring to me directly through the NHS and possibly through the Priory as well. So that's my like, yeah. Wow, that's brilliant. 
Right. And it is manifest. Like anytime I, it really is. Anytime wow. I hear someone that's br bridging the gap between, because it's so easy for us to float off into, uh, you know, non, not the mainstream uh, mentality. So anyone who's bridging the gap towards the NHS and and so literally the guy on the street isn't threatened or, you know, by what you do or at least has a, a frame of reference and understands what you do and can accept it and invite these kind of ideas in like breath work. That's just fantastic. Um, otherwise, it's so easy to kind of be very popular with people who are in the know. But if you can be be accessible to, to, to the mainstream audiences, that's 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 where the where the real work can be. That's wonderful. Well done, Matthew. Yeah, it was something I, I'm sure other people have found on their paths as well. It's like when I when I found breath work, it was like I found spirituality as well. And it was kind of like, oh, my God, spirituality. What does it mean? Like, am I going to have to change? Do I have to be do I have to look a certain way? Do I have to talk a certain way? It was all the examples I had in front of me at the moment. It was like they got spiritual and gone, right, I've got to change my name to Moonbeam and wear tie-dye and, and I'm spiritual. <laughs> and I was like, no, no, I can't be that person. I'm, I'm Matthew, I'm from construction and, and breath work serious. And it was like, well, be that person then. It's like, it doesn't mean that you have to be a certain way. And I think in many ways, that's kind of what can spoil some of the holistic spiritual practices is, a person will get one example of it and because they judge it as wrong it's not taken seriously so i actually think it's putting it across in a serious way as sort of helps it's just learning to wear different hats and mm. remember when you're in corporate not to mention too much love and light and when <laughs> and vice versa but it's yeah, yeah. It, it takes that seriousness to no actually we're going to make a difference here not yeah just float within the I always, um, I, I always love the I always love the example Matthew of um, uh, Indian head massage which has such a, a lovely exotic uh, label <laughs> Indian mass head massage becomes head neck and shoulders when you go into corporate <laughs> yeah, I just find yeah. very, um, <laughs> it sums up corporate doesn't it it's just it's functional and it that's what it does and that's all we want to know yeah don't give it any it's, color it's actually getting it's better now functional. Oh. Coming at, I, i'm in oh, the good. corporate That's world it. and it, it's getting better there's there's love is talked about more and more now um, yeah, i think I've... people are really realizing things and um you know open so yeah it's just people at the end of the day in these companies you know so yeah one of the largest um movements at the moment is corporate changing into like conscious corporate so they're now realizing that actually they're doing it they're not necessarily doing it right um, yeah and they are entertaining a lot more of the holistic styles and the wellness the well-being yeah. it, it's it, it's, it's it, well received cracks. yeah the cracks happen so you just got to get in there and people are happy you just do it yeah <laughs> yeah I, I, I have a and some are even, uh, you know, open to working with me with uh, looking that it's paranormal that's actually affecting their business. It's wow. the ghosts in the mm. cupboard. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so it, it's, it's a fascinating mm. world, yeah. Awesome. Can I just, I just mention, by the way, uh, just while everyone's, uh, everyone's on, that uh, so Ricky, you're, Ricky's going to as a speaker for next week. We've got uh, Christian. Did we did we get a date from you from you, Christian? Uh, I think it's or, April. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. And um, just to say, we've got some of the speakers on. So really looking forward to that. I think um, uh, in in the coming weeks, some amazing speakers coming on. So um, wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. Just wanted to mention that anyway. So. I think Anna wants to speak. You, Anna? I, I did, but I was kind of giving up because I tried three times. <laughs> um, I'm not very loud. I'm not the person that tags, tugs someone's, you know, whatever, and says me, me, me. Um, I, I, I sort of have a have a question for Matthew, really. Um, so, what I do, I, I, I have a lot of passion for, and. I can see that it serves people, but I'm not getting anywhere with it. So I'm wondering if that's that I'm on the wrong path or that I'm not um, valuing myself. 
Okay. Um, first thing that comes up for me is um, around the asking. Right. How much have you asked for help around it? And how much are you, how much are you doing it on, all on your own? What do you mean, how much have I asked for help? What, people or the Ask universe? Or... Yeah. People that can um, help you. The universe, promote... people, all the time. <laughs> Too much almost i'm always asking for help okay because it's art it's art you do isn't it um it's cool. um intuitive art yeah and and also memorial art oh interesting okay um so uh if we're it's just around you, you what you're looking for most in your business is it exposure is it what what, what are you well i i i I've, 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 pay, I've done about 30 paintings in the last I don't know how many months and i uh, i've had to stop because i've got I've, I've run out of places to store and dry my paintings because i haven't made sales so i've literally got to the stage where the thing that i have passion for i've had to stop doing so I don't know whether I'm getting a message from the universe that you're going the wrong way or you're asking the wrong thing or anyway, I just thought I'd, I just thought I'd say that because you're there. Yeah, um, if you want to dig in a little bit more, we can, we, we can do that on another call. I, I get there's a few little bits in here. Um, there's no coincidence that you said you've asked three times and didn't get to come on. And then yeah. it was, so there, there's something around yeah. asking for help. It's like, you're telling yourself you have to do it all. Whereas yeah. actually all, it, it can sometimes just be asking the right person. Um, what I did when I first started doing my business is it was like, uh, I did like the 10 hour day, which is each day you set yourself 10 hours worth of tasks. And it's, um, write to 10 friends and ask them for a favor ask to 10 businesses and ask them if you can go in and do a podcast write to 10 radio stations to see if you can do that uh, newspaper articles it's sort of almost I've, I've, sorry i've, I've, <clears throat> I've, no, I've been cool. in i've been in take a break fate and fortune magazine i've been um interviewed by several radio stations i've been interviewed by people on their podcasts i've done all of that I got nothing from Take a Break Fate and Fortune magazine. Um, I don't know what's happening. I don't, mm. I, I really, I'm out there putting myself out there all the time. And yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, it's definitely something in this for you to get. Um, mm. There's, yeah, I think I'd, would you, do you want to do this in a private messaging just because there's something like, I would love to I don't want to take I'm really conscious of taking over this session and taking over people's too much of it so um but I just I really wanted to say it and uh, obviously you know the third time <laughs> I, I um yes yeah well I'll, I'll send you a little private message after because yeah the, mm. It's like you're doing all the right still things just in the wrong direction. So that's, mm. yeah. With that amount of um, being in a magazine and being on the radio station, being on that, um, if, you, if you're not getting a success from that, it's because you're blocking it in some way. And it could yeah, be, that's what I'm thinking. So, yeah, we'll, we're on the I've right been way. in the Metro magazine as well, but my, my artwork was <laughs> in the Metro, but they didn't mention my name or my business. Course they wouldn't. So they, it's like I've had all these opportunities, but but you can. Yeah. Can you get a copy of that and put it all over social media? Hey, look at uh, what I did all that. It was about three, uh, three, maybe four, three years ago. Um, I did I did all that at the time, but it didn't make any difference because obviously nobody knew who I was or whatever. So and now there's a thing where you can't. I couldn't even share the link to the take a break magazine because um if you do that you can get done for i think it's intellectual property or whatever it is you can be fined so i had to take all that off my social media so um yeah 
Well, and and have you asked the consciousness of the paintings to go out and do the do? Oh yes, they need to find their owners. They're, yeah, they're, exactly. I keep, I keep saying that, but mm. it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for listening. You're welcome. No, it's uh, yeah, you can you can crack through this one pretty quick. I'd rather not share it. No, 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 no. I understand. I totally understand. <clears throat> Cheers, everyone. Just pouring myself a uh, a little drink. <laughs> yeah. We're celebrating the fact that I got a bait. I got a bait. Just completely changing the topic. I'm celebrating the fact that I got a twenty pound bottle of Bailey's for twelve qu quid. I wanted to put that in the uh, manifestation section, but I didn't get a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. Thanks. Enjoy. Yes. And Praveen, oh, by the way, I mean, I've got a, a vegan version of Bailey's. Yeah, there is. I, I've yeah. heard, I've heard. I've got it. I've got it at home here in the next room. <laughs> How is it's it? It's almond milk instead of cream. Yeah, yeah, it, it doesn't, it, it, it doesn't taste the same. <laughs> no, but I'm allergic to milk. I have been since I was a kid. So, you know, yeah. me and my daughter, we enjoy it. Yeah. It would be my choice as well if I could try it. Yeah. Oh. Right, and yeah. I, I will get you a bottle and uh, bring it round. Oh, bless you. <laughs> so I'll make a note now to find one. It, it, it's not always yeah. available. Um, yeah. Uh, Praveen, can I say goodbye yeah. for this evening? Thank you. That's Thank fine. You, That's, I mean, so, so yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. You don't need anyone's permission. You can just... Thank you. Well, I'm just <laughs> saying thank you. All. I enjoyed it very Class much. Class dismissed. <laughs> bye, -bye. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. bye bye, Ricky. Look forward bye -bye. to seeing you next week, Ricky. See you. Yeah. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 While you're saying your goodbyes, I'd like to go as well because I've got my dinner. Yeah. yeah. I think we're drawing close and... Um, Lovely to see everyone. Thanks a lot. Christian, thanks for joining us as well. Thanks, I hope you enjoyed it's it. Been great nice to see you, Christian. Guys. Nice Thank to see you, Karen. Me. Cheers, son. <laughs> thanks. All right, then. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks. Bye. 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 I've sent you a message, Me Matthew. <laughs> oh, lovely. No worries. I've sent you a WhatsApp. <laughs> cool. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll look into that. So, okay, um, okay. awesome. Perfect. Wow, man. You, well, you knocked it out of the ballpark, mate. You knocked it out of the ballpark, so well done. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Cheers, buddy. No, it was, it was really good. Really enjoyed it. Like I say, it's... Uh, it's in your element. Tune into the heart and just, yeah, ask them to bring the words through, so... Yeah, yeah. I love the way James James managed to. That was you know that was important as well. Though he managed to taper it to uh, to to focus it on individuals. I thought that was really important as well because it added it gave an added dimension. Otherwise, it was great as it was, but it was it was you just kind of speaking and and, and that was very heart centered and, and powerful. But then focusing on individuals, it took it to another level. I think it was really helpful. I, I, yeah, that. I was so glad when he jumped in. It was just like oh, brilliant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have I've I've got I'm on my computer and it doesn't come up with the time at the top. So I'm sort of sat there yeah, and I'm yeah. sort of talking and I was trying to gauge on time and I was just like I've got I know what you mean. Here. You can start you can start to feel blind. You can start to feel blind, like where you know, where am I in this in this whole thing? The structure kind of goes and you're just flowing, but you want that structure as well to uh to time it. But yeah, great stuff, mate. Great stuff. Um we'll look forward to meeting up with you at some point when it's uh when it's a possibility and um and uh, and kind of connect from there. Are you? Where are you, by the way? Are you at home, or are you and your the? In I, I'm just at home at the moment. Yeah, just sat in my bedroom. So nice, nice. Yeah. Right then, mate. You, right, lots of love to you. Lots of love to you. And see you again. See you again. Yes, mate. We'll uh, we'll connect soon. Definitely. Take care. Nice one. Take care.